Are you struggling to keep up with all of your different SEO components for your campaigns from keywords to architecture to structure? We're going to cover 10 SEO Chrome plugins that you can use for free, which are going to help you with all of that. So stay tuned. We got a good one for you. All right, welcome back everybody and thank you for joining me. My name is Jordan Steen, also known as Serial Entrepreneur. And if you haven't hit that subscribe button or the notification bell yet, you're gonna want to because we have updates like this every single week with the best content for digital marketing and starting an agency. So make sure you take care of that. Oh, and by the way, comment your favorite SEO tool or resource or platform, software, whatever it is, right below in the comments. And we're going to select five people for every 100 comments to give away our free mentorship program too. So make sure to leave your favorite tool or resource below, and we're going to pick five lucky winners for every 100 comments. All right, so let's hop on over to my screen really quick and talk about some of these plugins. So guys, Google Chrome actually has a web store that's all four extensions. You can actually see it here, right here. You can just go to Google and type in Google Chrome extensions if you like, but you do have to be using the Google Chrome web browser to be able to do this. So if you haven't downloaded that already, you're gonna need to actually start there by downloading that web browser. I promise you, you're gonna love it. If you have a Gmail account, it associates all of that data there, which makes everything for tracking a lot easier. Oh, and PS, if you want more access to other extensions and plugins that we use for our marketing agency, make sure to come back to this point in the video after you review all of the 10 Chrome extensions we're about to talk about, and you can check out some of our other ones right here up in the top right-hand corner. All these Chrome extensions really help with your performance from on-page SEO to technical SEO to how you're actually showing up in search engine results. So you're going to want to install these to help you get an idea really quickly of what a website performance might look like. Otherwise, you will have to use some paid tools or some more in-depth strategies to figure out all of that information. This makes it a lot easier and more more concise so that way you can get the data you need quickly. Now, one of the first tools we're gonna to talk about is SEO Quake, and that's this tool right here, actually this plugin. And you can see right here, we get a ton of information like Alexa rank, Google index, Bing index, our domain and how it's performing each page. You can look at each page individually and see how it's performing. You get a quick diagnosis right here, which takes you over to their page and tells you some of the areas where you might need some extra help. Uh, let me see. You go back over here, we get internal information, right? So it'll actually show you what the internal side of the website looks like, what pages look like, and then some data associated to each page, right? So this is a super useful tool to make sure that you get all of the data that you want about each individual page and its performance with regards to SEO. The next plugin we want to quickly look at is Redirect Path, and it basically tells you whether a page has been 301 redirected, if it's a 400 error, or if it has a 200, which is what you want for all of your pages. So I definitely recommend getting Redirect Path. It's just something you can quickly and easily used to tell if the page is structured properly or not. Now, one of my favorite tools is actually Google PageSpeed Insights, and I love using this tool to quickly find out how a page is performing. So if you go to a website and actually click the tool, it does take a second for it to render because it has to actually crawl through your site and see how each page is performing. But you can see here we have a good, a good desktop, mobile, and mobile-friendly uh, score, so we know that this website is actually performing great. And that's really where the benefit comes in with this tool. You can also go to Google PageSpeed Insights actual web page and you can get a more in-depth look of the actual performance of the site. But this tool helps get a quick idea of what it's about. Next is going to be HTAG. You can click the HTAG plugin, then click show tag, and it will actually show you where your tags are at on your site so you know how it's structured. This is really great for when you're prospecting a potential client site and you go to their site and realize they have no tags set on their website whatsoever. You can take quick screenshots of these and show them this is why you're not ranking as well as you could be on search engines. So another great SEO plugin that we use all the time. The next tool we want to talk about is page analytics. And this is actually just using Google Analytics plugin. And you can see right here, it tells us about this unique page, how many page views it's getting, how many unique page views, average time on the page, bounce rate, exit rate. So it gives you some quick information about the actual site and how it's performing. So a quick question for you guys, are you having trouble climbing the SEO ladder? Meaning, are you having trouble ranking your website? If so, what do you think is causing you to struggle to rank your website? Leave that below. Or what do you think you're not doing properly that could get your website ranking if you were to do it properly? Leave your SEO struggles below and we would love to provide you with some feedback. 
So next is Buzz Sumo, and this app can actually be used to help you evaluate content and get ideas for new content. All you have to do is click the plugin, and you can even click Analyze Website, View Backlinks, but you do have to be paying to use the View Backlinks section. But you can quickly analyze your content. You can see if we come over here, it'll show you the 36 analyzed. It's not going to do everything because Buzz Sumo does charge for, for some of their higher level uh, softwares that, that, that you can integrate with your site, but you can see you can get basic data about when your site being published is doing the best, the engagement that it gets, top domains, top piece of content by engagement. So you get an idea of how your actual content is performing. Again, their paid platform is much, much better. We don't personally pay for Buzzsumo uh, as, because we actually have a couple other tools that we're already using and paying for that do you know a similar thing. But I wanted you guys to get an idea of what Buzzsumo does in case this one was something that you prefer to use instead. Going to be Keywords Everywhere, that would be this little plugin right here. And the cool thing about Keywords Everywhere is it gives you ideas for what related keywords are being searched for when you go to Google and type in a specific search. So you can see down here, we can type in social media marketing, we can come down here and get all kinds of ideas for different keywords that we could be targeting, different pieces of content that we could create, right? So it gives you an idea of what types of keywords are being searched for when you type in a specific term to start. Oh, and PS, since this video is all about tools, we also have another video where we made a list list of 50 plus tools. Some of these tools that we're talking about here are included. These are SEO specific, but if you want more digital marketing related tools, again, it's 50 plus tools over here in the top right hand corner. Make sure to finish out this video and you can come back and view that video as well later. Another great tool to use to get an idea of the structure of the page is the uh, Moz Bar, and this one is completely free to use for the basic use of the, of the actual tool, but you get an idea of what the URL is, the page title, meta description, keywords, H1, H2, it's all lined up right here for you, and it's very easy to find right here, so you can see, boom, we can just go through this, bold, strong, we can see italic items, right, H1s, H2s, everything that you want to see, plus you can see the page authority, the domain authority, overall spam score, it's just a really quick and easy tool to get an idea of what the structure of a web page looks like, what keywords they're targeting, and what you might want to be targeting for your own client websites or your agency website. Now another tool is going to be built with, and this actually shows you what this platform is being built with, what plugins are being used on the site, everything that is involved with the actual site. You can see we have active campaign tracking, click funnels, Facebook pixel, Google analytics, all of these things have been implemented into our site. Any different widgets that we're using like Gravity Forms, WP Rocket, Recapture, ManyChat, Google Tag Manager, all of these little elements are being implemented onto our website and it's something that you can actually use on your site as well or get an idea of what you might want to be using on your website. You can also look at things like the metadata, the relationship or any redirects going on with the site which is some of the functionality that some of the other tools that we mentioned earlier your have. So this is easily one of my favorite tools because it kind of brings some of those other tools all into one place so you don't have to go and use 55 different tools. Finally, we're going to talk about Ahrefs and this is a platform that we use for keyword planning and strategy, for uh, architecture strategy, for just overall on-page technical analysis, creating audits. We love Ahrefs and we know you will too. It is a little bit more pricey than something like Serpstat, which we used to use in the past but I can promise you it will be worth every penny when you actually start using it for your SEO efforts. But you can see here it gives you uh, keyword ranking or keywords that you rank for, your domain rank, it gives you all kinds of backlinks that you have on the site, keywords for this specific page, it gives you all types of information about a specific website uh, or a specific web page so that way you know what you're really looking at and how to use it better in the future. But guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you for staying to the end. As I mentioned in the beginning, make sure to leave a comment below of some of your favorite SEO tools, softwares, resources, whatever it is related to SEO, so that way we can pick five winners for every 100 comments to give our mentorship program a way to for free. All right, all you have to do is leave a comment with your favorite SEO resource tool or software. But that is it for today's video. I hope you guys got a ton of value. If you have a tool that we didn't mention that you would like to see explained in another video, also leave that in the comments below. But that's it for now, guys. I'm going to get out of here and I will see you on the next video. So until then, Serial Entrepreneur out. Bye, guys. Ready to start living the six-figure, work wherever, be your own boss lifestyle? Well, at Serial Entrepreneur Academy, we'll teach you how to use a laptop and internet to start your own social media and digital marketing agency. Get started with our free Facebook ads training. Links in the description below, guys. See you in the course. Serial Entrepreneur out.